I have own, my own free will. Yeah, you keep thinking that. That's weird to see a dragon over here, though, yeah? Like, randomly? Oh, yeah, cool. You guys, you guys got to see a dragon. Isn't that great? I almost got my ass roasted, but hey, at least you guys got to see a dragon. We almost got to see the inside of the dragon. What scares me the most is I didn't see where it went. Oh, shit. There's one. Or, uh, hopefully it's the same one. Hopefully this isn't, like, fucking dragon forest. Okay, it's chasing after something else. Good, because I had to itch my ear. Alright, so it ran off over there, so... Works for me. Alright, there should be an enemy camp around here. Alright, we're heading towards it. I'm not even going to mark it on the map. I think we can find it. A lot of herbs and stuff over here. So on one hand, I kind of would like to build over here. On the other hand, we found a earth guardian and a fucking dragon. So, not super stoked. Not prime property. Could probably get it for a steal, though. Hey, thank you, bad. For the dragon bits. My life was almost forfeit, but we did get to see a dragon. We actually did see one during that last beta. Oh, God. Damn it to hell. I thought that dragon had, like, was, had snuck on me and was shooting fireballs at me. You son of a bitch. I think they made it that way on purpose to be tickets. All right. Uh, oh, we have a, we can make a ton of mana vials. Uh, let's make the... Eh, actually, we're doing pretty good on health. Let's go ahead and make a bunch of mana. Well, I was used to the mana, the level up sound, but I'm already like on edge. Worry about that stupid dragon. Eh, the orc doesn't really seem to be helping too much. If he had, like, a taunt or something, that would be nice. We still definitely need a bunch of this. Because I don't want to keep running out of potions and then having to run around and gather shit. I do want to get to this camp soon, though. It seems like a fairly hostile section of the forest. Alright, so we just keep going east. Always to the east. Giant wolf... It's funny, too, like, seeing creatures just randomly running around like they, they're aggroing on something, but that's, like, really far away. So it looks like they're just randomly running from one location to another, but they're probably trying to chase. Or they're running away from something else. Get him, wolf. Eh? Ah, he actually did do a little bit of damage there. It takes him too long, though. I need to get one of the archers. That's what I need to do. If I can get either a sprite or a archer orc, we're good. But again, I don't want to do it while we're out here. I want to wait till we get back to base and kind of get settled in. Because my main goal right now is I want to check these camps. I'm curious if there's any goodies. Any chests that haven't been looted. Oh, there's the camp, by the way. Definitely grab more rune crystals. We got a bunch back home, but. Are you a bad one? Yeah, you're a bad one. Hey. Ow. Get him. Sick him, boy. <laughs> Damn it. You are terrible. Kick his ass. <laughs> I like, like, are you trying to. Well, he actually did damage you. Oh, see, now you're mad because he hit you. Yeah, see, I think the AI seems to be such that, like, um, he's defending for, like, a, like, three seconds. But if he doesn't get attacked or if I don't get attacked again, he, like, is like, oh, okay. 
We're clear. Oh, yes. Yeah, I'm sure me running for my precious life is hilarious to y'all. I'm sure you guys love it. Thank you, Direwolf, for killing that. But now I have to kill you. You have some... Uh, oh, skill points. Oh, come on. Thank you. All right, we got some points. Um, I'm going to do damage. Twice. I really want to get our damage up. Because health is really not a problem. The only time it's really been an issue is against the, the fairy things. Also, the AI seems to completely... Like, the enemy AI seems to completely ignore my uh, little companion here. Because the only time the other orc shot this one was like he got in the way. Like, he just happened to run in front of him. Right, I'm just kind of scouting this camp out. As we move in. Wait, where'd it go? Wait. Where'd that camp go? Oh, whoops. Well, not scouting much of shit, apparently. They've moved the camp. It's a ghost camp. Hell yeah. I love harvesting. Why? Why is it so satisfying to just walk around pressing E, picking shit up? It's so dumb. Stupid primitive human brains. Oh, there's a giant. That's great. Oh, here's... The, oh, this is uh, one of those, like, monolith camps. We can tear shit up pretty good. We can... We can rip some buttholes, that's for sure. Killing some more bears. Oh, whoops. After I get some mana. See, the other problem with the AI is it takes too long to, like, aggro on you. Like, notice when I attack something, a lot of times it has to go through the animation of, like, looking in my direction. And especially with this magic missile stuff, like, I can get a bunch of hits in. Oh, God, no, please. Oh, God. Um, there's a fairly good chance we're not even going to try this shit. Level 16, 17, 17. Nah, shit, nah. Nope. Oh, but there's a chest. Oh, god damn it. Son of a bitch. Well, we're going to have to leave. There's no way. There's no way. Like, if they were my level, I would say maybe. But even, like, if they were lower level, four of them is nasty like the big saving grace if they were lower is that i could kill them a lot faster a fucking giant just running off randomly i'm like oh shit he's like i'm coming for you it's like no please don't please don't do that uh let's go ahead and kill these elk i want to one get xp but two i want to still kill it takes like three hits to kill elk i want to get the hides so we can because when we get back, we'll have at least one skill point. To, or we'll be able to get at least some of the armor. There's a ton of elk over here. You want to get him or... Thanks for the help. Appreciate it. Yeah, it's apparently Spriteville. I have no intention of hanging out in Spriteville. There's another camp over here. Pretty far. Oh, hell yeah. Elk hunting, just like my dad does. Except not even remotely the same. In a way, he uses a magic wand. A rifle's kind of a ma magic wand, in a way. I suppose. Depending on your perception. A caveman would think it was a magic wand. They don't know. They don't understand firearms and explosions and physics. 
and talk to my gat and all that shit. I mean, I don't either, but. Tons of elk over here. Yeah, this is a very nice area of the forest over here. I mean, it's also insanely dangerous, but here's our house across the way. We could probably just cut across. Well, shit, I was going to say we could cut across, but our little dude would almost certainly drown, which I'm not too worried about it. He's not very useful. I mean, don't let him know I said that. Oh, did somebody follow? And I missed it again? Or did they just come in the chat? Hey, Patrick. How's it going? By the way, if you want to lurk, that's totally fine, too. Just want to say hello. I have no problem whatsoever with folks who just want to lurk. In fact, when I watch streams, I tend to just lurk all the time. I rarely talk. Holy shit. It's like somebody's fighting over here. Ah, oh, cool. That's ah, some people. Wait, what? Why is this? Oh, hey. Sup? How's it going? Can you hear me? I'm just running around, like, finding random things to attack. Hey, have you guys uh, been to that, like, Stonehenge place to the west of here? Uh, I don't know what it is by default, but if you look under your controls, it's under the social tab. I had to change mine. I don't know what it is by default. Like how they all look like can wizards. You hear me? Oh, I totally can. Oh. Hello. Hello. Yeah, I was just kind Hello. of exploring. Your question again? Oh, there's like oh, a. Uh, if you guys are clearing stuff out, there is a uh, camp to the, a camp to the west. It's got uh, it's a Stonehenge type, but there's like four of those fairies that do a ton of damage. Uh, there's a chest if you guys want to go kill it. You guys yeah, could take just... it. I could not solo that. Those uh, fairies yeah, are we're, nasty. We're actually headed that right at a killer. Oh, cool. Well, have fun yeah, with that. So, Those yeah, things murder me. Do what? Yeah, we're going to go do that right now if you want to come with us. Ah, sure. Yeah, Why gonna, not? Uh, go hit this sprite. Anything that involves killing sprites, I'm down with. <laughs> Those things look so fucking creepy with the little. <laughs> Yeah, they do a ton of damage, too. It's insane. Yeah, if you're alone and you try to fight four of those, you die in, like, two seconds. Ah, uh, there's a giant on us, by the way. Do we want to fight the giant first? Uh, actually, I don't know where he went. I heard him grunt, and I turned around, and he was there, and now he's gone again. Okay. <laughs> There's a dragon running around here too, like level 35. Here, we'll just fight the sprites real quick right now. Yeah. Oh god. Oh, that's the person. Wow. Oh, there's that giant over there by the crystals. Yeah, we're going to fight that real quick. Oh, I got the frame rate. Woo 
Hell yeah. Those giants ever have anything worthwhile? I've never been able to kill one. They have gold. Ah. I didn't even find a use for gold yet. Yeah, it's mostly for like base making stuff and weapons. Ah. All right, well, I'm going to go back to wandering. Thanks to the uh, giant kill. Yep. You guys have a good one. See ya. I'm just going to let them loot. I don't really care about the loot. It's not really that much interesting on them anyway. Yeah, FPS. Totally got destroyed. Hey, sup, Peyton? Welcome back. Sorry I wasn't reading. I was busy hanging out, like, uh, trying to focus on staying with those guys. <laughs> Giant's not too bad when you got four wizards just nuking the, <laughs> the hell out of it. It's like, come on, this is bullshit. I have no chance. I'm glad I figured out my push to talk key. See, I, I, see, I don't really, like, I know it's going to be weird, and I know I've mentioned this before in the chat. Or on stream before, but like I'm not very social. Like I'm, I'm pretty much a, uh, I'm a shut in. But I like little encounters like that. You know, there's a, qu a quick inter interaction. You're like, hey, what's up? Like, do you see this thing? Oh yeah, cool. We're gonna go do that. Do you want to join? Sure. You know, go over there, kill some shit, have some fun, and be like, okay, cool. See you later. And like you just kind of move on. Like I like stuff like that. It's fun. But like I say, my problem with games like this, and again, I don't consider this a problem with the game by any measure, like at all. But my problem is, like, if you really want to, to get the most out of it, you need to have a group of people that you play with on a regular basis. And like, you don't have to be, like, have everybody be dedicated or whatever. Uh, but you really need to put a lot more time into it. And again, I don't have a problem with that. I think that's cool. But... Like, the way I play games now, it's just not, doesn't really work for me. That's the same with, like, uh, games, like, Albion Online. Like, Albion Online, I think I'd have a ton of fun with that if I was in a guild where I could, like, they would protect me in dangerous zones while I'm harvesting, or they bring me the, the stuff and I work on crafting, stuff like that, and maybe occasionally go out on PvP excursions. But for the most part, just kind of doing my own thing, like, and, you know, talking to people and chat, whatever. Like, that would be fun, but again, that's just not how I play games anymore. And a lot of that's honestly just because of the channel. Like, the YouTube channel and this. Like, uh, one, I feel like my current audience really would get bored with that. Just, like, doing the same game and, you know, farming and all that stuff. And two, the big issue you can run into with that is, and I, I haven't experienced it myself. Well, I have, I guess, on a much smaller level. Oh, shit, we're full. Uh, we might fly back soon. Yeah, honestly, I'm not too worried about losing this guy. If and when we fly back. Damn, no towers nearby. Well, we can... Oh, we forgot to hit those caves. We can always come back. But, um... I'm also trying to say, um, less. I've gotten better over the years, but I still say it too much. Let's drop these rocks. But one thing I've I've heard happen a lot with streamers is that, like, streamers or YouTubers who will start playing a certain game like Minecraft or League of Legends or whatever, and, like, they, they grow an audience because of that game, but, those, but the majority of those people only want to see that game. Like, they don't want to see any other games. So if they try to play something else, like, their, their viewer base, like, drops dramatically. So they end up like quote like if they want to keep doing you know YouTube or Twitch or whatever was there not just some stones here like two seconds ago, not not those stones but the what are these things called moon rocks, rune crystals was they not just here anyway, uh, they have to they if they want to keep doing what they're doing they have to keep playing that one particular game, which you know is kind of like sucks because then when you when you get to the point you're having to play the game where you feel like you have to play it that sucks a lot of the fun out of it and when that happens it's not a great view but i'll try fixing it later we're in kind of hostile territory but again when you you feel like you have to play the game then it becomes like it sucks the fun out of it right uh, I want to kind of see. Look how far away that orc attacked us. 
It's only one level higher than us. And my orc is just like doop doop doop. Get him, boy. Get him. Sick him. Yeah, see, he attacks for like two seconds, but because I haven't like taken damage or any, or, or I haven't damaged the enemy, he backs off. Hit him. Hit him. Come on. Finish him off. Nope. Yeah, there's like a like a two to three second timer where if you don't attack or get attacked, he just like backs off. I can get why they did that. It's so that like if you're running away from a nasty enemy or like, you know, a nasty fight that's, oh, there's too many enemies. I've got to run for it. It's so that your, your dude doesn't get murdered, right? It's so that he doesn't just get completely annihilated. But it's a little too strict. It's a little bit too strict right now. Hey, here's another like kind of half house. Adam in excess. Maybe he just wanted a nice place to look out over the river. All right, so we're actually going to hop on the broom. If he dies, he dies. I'm not really. Well, actually, you know what? Let's take a risk here. Let's put some of the heavy stuff on him. Stuff that I'm not really, I don't really care if we lose. Light Essence, I haven't even found a use for that yet. The fur pelts. How much are these? Weight, 0.1. That's five pounds. 0.2 a piece, damn. The leather's kind of heavy. I don't want to lose the leather, though. The yellow pine, not really that useful. Now, the leather, the hide, I definitely, oh, the hide's a little bit heavier. All right. He can, he's sworn to carry my burdens. Oh, yeah, he's, Orc's like, oh, hey, Frank, how you been? I know you guys are wondering where I went. Well, this is where I went. Kind of enslaved. Kind of a bummer. And I'm like, hey, guys, you want to fight him? or? He's like, ah, I don't know. Frank seems a good guy. It's a under misunderstanding. I always hit P to open that. I don't know why. Uh, let's... We don't need that many. Let's get seven. Keep it even 20. So how much are... How much do these weigh? Eh, fuck it. We'll assume point one. Yeah, they have an offensive option. Like I can go in and change him to. I'm afraid to. I'm afraid to click these because it doesn't tell you what they are when you hover over. Let's protect him. I don't like the X. Them. I'm guessing that's just passive. Oh, it's ignore. But you can also talk to them and get different options. So I can say follow aggressive. But that seems like not a great idea. Like, I don't want him attacking everything. That would be... Come on. Talk to him again. Follow, defend. So that's definitely something we're going to have to work on. Light essence might be for higher level pots. That would make sense. Missed the cat cam. It's still going. Let me see. Oh, we're kind of in a safe area. Let me try to fix it without her noticing. Damn it, cat. She's so easily broken. Why is it moving all over the place? That's weird. Let me know if it keeps doing that. It looks like it's steadied up. But if it keeps like jerking around like that, let me know. I'll ch change it because that'll get nauseating. And very distracting. What's funny is like, and I want to talk about this in my monthly update. But one thing I really want to avoid with, this, with the streams is, like, and I won't mention any names. 
Because God knows I don't want to be accused of trying to start drama for views or anything. But um, one thing I want to avoid is a lot of streamers, in particular ones I used to like, like I can't watch anymore. Because whenever I watch, they're interrupting the game stream constantly for subscribers or bit donations or regular donations or like their seventh month resub or, you know, a follow or whatever. And it's like every, I feel like every two minutes you're interrupting the game to, to like, to, you know, read off a message or, you know, something's playing in the background, some noise or some big animated GIF is playing and all this other shit. So I was like, okay, I really don't want to do that. Like I don't, you know, never say never, but, my current mentality is I don't ever want that to happen. Even if I started doing it full time, I see she's moving around. Um, I don't want to like I don't want to go that route. It's not what I'm interested in. I want I want things to be focused on the gameplay. But on the same token, it's like you really need to. Um... Oh, you heading out, Peyton? That's all right, Peyton. No worries. Don't worry about only coming by. I appreciate you coming by for any length of time. And come by again whenever we start streaming again. Hey, there's happy face. Uh, but anyway, so like I want the game to be focused. Or I want the streams to stay focused on the games, not the hubaloo, if you will excuse my old man language, uh, for uh, like the stream, like the noises and all that shit. But at the same time, I understand the importance of acknowledging people who donate, people who sub, people who resub follow all that stuff so i've been kind of weighing like okay how do i want to like how do i want to ride that border like right like how do i want to acknowledge the folks who who do help monetarily or just follow but at the same time not being having it be distracting one thing that i i've seen uh i don't know if he does it all the time but one time i was watching dan's gaming and what he was doing was like, I think there was a message that popped up when people donated and stuff, but he didn't actually read it out. And I think the I don't think either it make a noise at all or the noise is really subtle. And then what he would do was like during breaks. Then he would say, oh, OK, you know, during the oh, my God. You guys see that? Oh, OK. Oh, OK. OK. Well, all right. It's still scary, but it's not as scary as I thought when I first looked at that, like that flaming shit. Like, I thought that was like a giant being chained or something, but it's a stone. But there is a dragon there. We're going to get a little closer. I want to see what level it is. 25. That's not as bad. Uh, we're still not going to mess with it, but it's definitely not as bad. But um, anyway, like, yeah, so he will, he'll still acknowledge folks, but he'll do it after the fact, right? Like, he'll, he'll do it during breaks. Level nine, that's not bad. We'll take this out. Get him, boy. <laughs> it's so fast, dude. Oh my god. Seriously, like, I even stopped looking at my health because I was like, okay, it's almost dead. We've got it. And then all of a sudden I look up and I'm like, holy shit, I'm almost dead. But anyway, that's one thing. But of course, as I say that, I've got like the chat on there. I've got kitty cam on there. It's like, mm, I don't know. It's one of those things I'm going to have to play with and just kind of like decide like how quote unquote far I'm willing to go. Because, yeah, I feel like the streamers who are who get big and stay, make it stay about the game are in the minority. But see, here's the thing. And I apologize on if like talking shop or whatever you want to call it, uh, if it is, is annoying or uninteresting to some folks. But the, the thing is this, the reason they do that, the reason they make such a big deal out of our donations and things like that is because it works. Because when you when you do make a big deal about somebody donating and subscribing and oh, reading a message off and say, oh, you know, hey, thank you for the donation and reading off the message that they sent, all that stuff, it helps. Like it helps spur more donations and more follows and more subscriptions and all that. 
So I absolutely get why it's done. Holy shit. Oh my god, this lag. Or uh, lag, it's uh, frame rate. I hate what people call frame rate drops. Lag. It's, it's, I guess, in some way the same thing, but it's not really. But it, it, it works. Like, that, that strategy works. So I don't, I don't hold it against anybody who does that. Oh. Hey, tell you what. Let's go get this. Throne of Ingus. Let's go unlock this fast travel point. And then we'll probably head back to... Oh, shit. Another dragon. That's not good. Um, so I don't hold it against them for doing it. But it seems so hard to find streams who, who just focus on on this stuff now. You know what I mean? Like, there's so many streams I jump into, and they've got music blaring. They're Again, they're stopping every few seconds. You know, blah, blah, blah. All the shit I just said. And, like, I don't know. Like, I... It, again, to some extent, I don't mind it. It's funny because when it's a smaller channel, it's not that bad because you're usually not getting hit by this stuff all the time, right? It's it's pretty rare that it happens. That's why I don't really have a problem doing it now. Like when I when I get bits or a subscriber, I don't mind mentioning it because it doesn't happen very much. But you know, if I start getting you know new subs, resubs, all that stuff every five minutes, it's like ugh, like you stopping to read a message and all that. Anyway, you get my point. So anyway, that's just something I've been kind of kicking around in my head, trying to think about how to find the happy middle ground. Oh, is she, is her, her budding it? Oh, and now you only see her back. I need to get like a, if I'm going to keep doing kitty cam, I should uh, get some kind of stand. Like, stand for the mic so that it's hovering above her. Alright, let me mark that tower, because it's, it's sort of kind of far away. Oh, wow, it actually is pretty far away. The senses on the map are further than they appear. I agree, it's about the game. Still thank people, so you do a good job. Thank you. I think it's more important when you are doing the charity stuff. Now, the charity stuff, yes. I consider the charity stuff, all charity stuff, a whole nother, like, that's just something different entirely. Like, definitely, 100%, I'm going to stop and thank people who donate during a charity stream. Absolutely. Because, yeah, that's different. Different beast. And I think people who watch that kind of stream are also more okay with that. Because it, you're not, because people know the reason you're stopping to thank thank people for donations is because they're going to give you more donations, but you're doing it because you're trying to make money for a charity, not yourself. So I think people are much more forgiving of that. Like I am. Like if I'm watching somebody stream, do a charity stream, I don't care if they stop uh, when they, every time they get a donation for a charity, like it'd be kind of silly to complain about. Though I say that, and I will say I've watched GDQ less and less every year. I used to be, it's funny because I've completely changed, well, almost completely changed stances. In the past, I was like, when I first started watching uh, GD, or um, if you're not familiar, GDQ is Games Done Quick. It's uh, it's two different charity runs they do every year and have been doing for like five or six years, maybe more, uh, where they have a bunch of speedrunners come and they play for several days and people donate, goes to charity, blah, blah, blah. But um, I used to watch, like, when GDQ was on, that's all I watched. Like, from the time I woke up until the time I slept, pretty much. I'd have at least have it on in the background, because I love GDQ. And I, like, I always, I was really annoyed when people would bitch about donations being read off. I'm like, because sometimes the runner would be like, oh, you know, hold donations while this is going, or... You know, oh, it's not okay to read donations yet. I'm doing this thing. And that would always annoy the shit out of me. Because I'm like, look, we're not here for you to do a speed. We're like, the purpose of this is not for you to do speed runs. The, the purpose is for, you're doing speed runs to raise money for charity. Nobody really, shit. Oh, shit. Happy face. No. You turned on me, you son of a bitch. 
<laughs> so apparently the charm spell wore out and I wasn't paying attention. But yeah, so like the purpose is not for your for this, right? It's it's you're running the speed runs to make money. We're not trying to get a world record here, right? You're just trying to show what you can do, roughly. If you don't get, you know, your personal best or a world record, then nobody gives a shit. So it always annoyed me when they would bitch about, uh, you know, people. Well, they wouldn't, they wouldn't necessarily bitch about it, but you could tell they didn't like donations. Some of them didn't like donations being read either at all or at certain times. Oh, shit. I just realized he had a bunch of stuff on him. Uh, I gotta see. I don't think he had anything really that worthwhile. Oh, I can't even. Oh, I can't loot him. That's kind of a pisser. All right, well, we're full anyway. Uh, is there anything else we can drop? No. Uh, let's make more potions. I think the potions probably way less. Ah, uh, yeah, we're finally getting to the point where we can make a ton of potions and stuff, so that's good. Let's make more healing potions. Because I, I was thinking you're saving. Let's check. Let's watch our weight. Eh. It's breaking even on weight, looks like. But, um, anyway, so long story short, I was 100% about reading donations. Like, forget all the other crap, read the donations. Even if the, I don't, I mean, maybe once in a while they can say, please don't read donations, because this part takes a lot of concentration. But holy shit, that's really high. But for the most part, just read the damn donations. However, I've almost completely 180'd my stance on that. Because, yeah, like, because now I also feel like the donations are very cringy. Like, a lot of them are trying to make, like, punny jokes and stuff. And I get, like, it's a lighthearted thing. And I know I'm being, like, a fuddy-duddy and blah, blah, blah. But it, it's just, like, uh, like, it's so cringy. Like, I like my fair amount of, of cringe to some extent. But... It's got its limits, and usually it's pushing it with a lot of those those donations. So I've kind of flipped on that. Anyway, that was a whole stupid side tangent, which was entirely uninteresting. But uh, yeah, so I'm curious uh, if you guys watch other streams. Oh, I I know Jalinar, you've talked about someone. Uh, I won't mention the name, obviously, but uh, I know you've mentioned someone that you watch that you think does go overboard. You mentioned somebody that you didn't think went overboard. And I actually did watch both of those people. Uh, and one of them didn't get a donation for like a long time. I think they got like one. So I only really got a chance to see like one example of that that person in particular. Uh, you know, how they handle it. No. Oh. Sup. Oh, he's got a, a sweet axe. He had, always got like a flowing cape too. Awesome. But uh, anyway, the the second one that you said you did get annoyed by her, hers, I could definitely see that. I could definitely see that because she had a pretty big rigmarole that she would go through for subscribers. Here's the other part of it, and this is like this is a mental block I have for donate like bits and subs and donations. I feel like really guilty whenever I get a, like, I know it's dumb, but I feel guilty when I get a sub or a donation. And like, it's so dumb because like, I tell other people like, oh yeah, like, you know, you should, it's no problem. You're getting these donations because people like you a lot and you should never like freak out about that. But then when I have it done to me, I freak out and like, I get, um, oh wow. Was that like? Holy cow, there was like not even a loading screen. That's that's pretty impressive. That's cool. I was like waiting for a loading screen to pop up, but it like was instant. But yeah, I feel guilty about it. But um, anyway, that's kind of beside my point, I think. Another side tangent. Wee. Oh shit. Oh shit. Oh damn, that was close. I was like, oh, I'll just uh, drop down because I've got my uh, I've got my broom. And then I was like, oh, shit, I don't have any mana. Good job. What was, my, what was I talking about? 
Oh, you son of a bitch. Oh, hold on. Ah, shit. We don't have our... Hold on. I'll wait for him to shoot. Thank you. Come to me, little blood orc. I want to get one of the ranged guys, because I feel like they could be more... Ah, shit. God damn it. Yeah, the problem, too, is if you lose... If you start to, like... Uh, they, like, the, uh, the amount you charm drops very quickly. And I completely forgot about the straining mana. Hold on, let me focus on this for a second. Because I don't want to overuse mana pots, but at the same time... I definitely don't want to have to recharm this guy. Luckily, the range is pretty far. I don't know why my sound's drying, but... Stop it, jackass. It's like a fishing game almost. Nice. We'll call you, um, nope, I'm trying to, there we go. Mr. Mohawk. And you will follow, defend. We'll have to try him out and see if he's not a little bit better. All right, sorry, let me read the chat for a second. So I can catch back up. Yeah, apparently he wasn't too happy face. Oh, I know. I like again, the thing is, I know it's a mental hang up. Like I know it's a personal mental hang up with the whole wait, what? No, oh, there he is. I know it's like a mental hang up. I have. With the whole thing. So I, like, on a logical level, I know I'm being dumb. About the thing. All right, come on. Hit him. Well, he shot an arrow. Well, still not very useful. I feel like you have to have a whole bunch of these things to really be useful. Oh, this is looking pretty cool. Is this the same guy's house that we saw before? Oh, it is. Now he's got... Uh... Oh, wait. Did he have these big double doors before? No, this is a different house. This is a different house. It's just similar. Cool. Let me go ahead and heal. And focus on getting back home. Because we definitely have... To drop a bunch of stuff off. Yeah, I know. I overthink it. I, I have serious overthinking problems. I have analysis paralysis. It's something I've definitely tried to work on. It's something I know that... It's hard, to f it's hard for me to find the middle ground. Because I don't want to make rash decisions. But at the same time, you know, when you, when you think about things too long... Like, you, you know, you're sitting there thinking, hmm... Which candy bar should I buy at the gas station? And like 30 minutes later, you're still standing there. It's like, Jesus Christ, just pick one. So I, I try to weigh how important the decision is into my uh, into my thought process. So it's like, okay, if this is not that important, then just, just pick. Like, think about it for 30 seconds and then just pick. But if it is critical, sure. Like, really think, think on it. Wow. These guys are making really cool houses in my little fucking piece of shit square building over there looking like a hobo put it together well I like to think it makes me a good person in genuine thank you for saying that by the way but yeah I know like I say it's one of those things I just kind of had to get over it's a mental at least it, I will say this at least I realize that it's it's all inside my own head like that's in my that's a problem with the way I think and it's not, I need to change the way I think. It's just that I need to get over it. It's like when um, I used to follow, well, I still follow her. Uh, she's gotten really big since 
like since when I initially started following her. But anyway, I used to talk in her chat room, and like she talk like somebody would gift her a game, and she's like, "Ah, oh, I feel like really guilty people buying me games." I'm like, "Why are you feeling guilty people giving you games?" I'm like, "They obviously enjoy your content. They want to like you know reward you if it makes them happy to buy you this game." I'm like, "That's you know, don't be silly. Like that's awesome." But then, like, when somebody gives me a game, it's, like, the opposite. I'm like, oh, God, like, don't do that. Like, I feel terrible. Why would you do that? But, like I say, I, for the most part, I've, I'm slowly learning to get over that. Why we tear these orcs up now? Get him. Get him, boy. Get him. No. Oh, he shot you. <laughs> They're, like, running around each other. Yeah, you can definitely tell there's some code in there where he gets aggro. And two to three seconds later, if you're not attack, he just, he resets and he comes to you. I think if you're, if you know you're going to get into a fight, I think you might want to like have to set it. To, oh, wait a minute. Ah, oh, the chest is here now. And I can't interact with it. Damn it. So, it, but it's glowing. That's weird. I'll, I'll hit this to make the glowing icon stop. I, I can hear Tally complain to me in my head. Hooray! Nothing for you. Thanks, game. You're the best. Anyway, that's enough talk about all of that. But yeah, long story short, is probably a lot of like changes will be done to the stream. I'll probably try different things, all that. Like I say, I personally like Kitty Cam just because... I'm a sucker. I'm a manly man, damn it. But I am a sucker for my cat. Like, she gets away with so much bullshit. Oh my god, it's ridiculous. She's got, let's see, one, two. She's got like four different cat beds. One of them is heated. It's a heated cat bed. Oh, no, 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 no. Hold on. Okay, you, you stay here. Stay defend. Put you on that. But yeah, we I she's got like several beds. One of them's heated. She's got two cat towers. She's got a windowsill bed that I screwed into the like like screwed power screwed into the wall for her so she could sit by there when it's like the sunlight. She's got it easy. She might well, she might have technically have like six. But some of them aren't really in the state to be slept in. Like, one of them is holding her toys that she never plays with. Which, yes, by the way, is, like, full of toys that I bought and she doesn't play with. Yeah, she is spoiled rotten. Uh, she just gets away with so much BS. It's ridiculous. I mean, my first icon was not my channel logo. It's her stupid face. I mean, come on. All right. So let's think. Yeah, four skill points. I think I would like to see this go up to, if not, maybe five skill points a level instead of four. Four is pretty damn restrictive. So there's nothing that unlocks for a while. Almost everything will not unlock until 15. This is just a repair bench. I'm not worried about that. None of that. None of the weapon stuff. Or armor. We could always try it. Go this route. But the thing here's what I don't like. All the trinkets, the ring, the bracelet, the necklace, and whatever the hell that is, the amulet, they all share the same slot with the broom. Like, everything is in this slot. All of it. So, like, it's dumb because it's like, oh, if I have my necklace on, I can't have the broom. So I have to constantly switch back and forth. It's irritating. Oh yeah, she's family. She's 16 years old. I've had this cat for six, like at least 16 years. What the hell's going on outside? 
What the hell do you think you're doing? Hey. What's up? Closing my door. He's like, oh wait, he's like, he's like, how the hell do I talk? Yeah, I'm not letting you in here. You steal my shit. Um, I didn't actually say that on voice chat, by the way, I'm not a complete asshole, but I'm not letting him in here. Um, anyway, what was I saying? Oh, so it all shares the same slot. So I'm much less inclined to get any of this stuff. Yeah, she doesn't sleep in the bed. Like, but that's partially because Sarah doesn't want her sleeping in there. Because her walk, well, because Sarah's a super light sleeper, so any kind of movement will make her like wake up. Uh, we could get the armor. We could we could unlock two pieces of armor, which is meh. Um, what's the spell? Oh, mana shield. Eh. Holy cow, it's four points. Oh, no, it's three points. Holy cow. Still holy cow, though. We could do more structure stuff, but eh. I'd rather get this more combat -y stuff for the time being. I think I'm going to grab the armor. Because we've got slots that we need to, to use up anyway. We, oh, we gotta get the tailoring workbench though. Oh, for Christ's sakes. We can make the use the forge for the skull cap though. Yeah, since we're fighting, let's go ahead and get the armor. I will probably have to buy what? How many points is this? Yeah, two. I think I said the tailoring. Yeah. Well, first let's make the hat. We need leather and iron ingots. Grab the entire stack of leather. That's the only thing we can make. Wait, what? Did I do it backwards again? I don't think I actually grabbed that. Fair enough. All right, make that skull cap. Yeah, I try to, like, I think she's gotten so used to me coming to bed that she doesn't notice most of the time. Sometimes I can tell she wakes up, but I try to be fairly quiet and not move, but it doesn't take much. I, on the other hand, can sleep through a tornado. Like, I don't really go sleep so much as go into, to like, short, into comas. All right, so that's all we can make right now. Uh, but we, let's... We'll go ahead and get the tailoring workbench, I guess, or tailoring thing, so we can make the rest of that armor. Go ahead and build it. Yeah, now you're really starting to see how you're really limited. And, you know, we killed a bunch of stuff, and we got, like, one level while we were out. We need, oh, we need more wood. Wait, is that enough? Oh, shit. Well, that's not good. There we go. Whoops. It's like the last thing I wanted to delete was the throne. That was an accident, obviously. Uh, let's see. Large. All right. Oh, we're still missing wood. Fair enough. I think I have enough in here. We're weight limited. Right now, what's way? Oh, these flowers are probably, eh, not that much. All right, let's make some potions to clear up some inventory. Wow, he's a bunch of mana. Make a shitload of those. What's taking up so much? The leather? Oh shit. Damn it. Uh, yeah, I fucked up. 
I forget I was making the potions. Oh, I had to right click, that's right. My cat isn't, she doesn't like, with her being so old, she doesn't really play with toys much anymore. Like, she's gotten definitely uh, much less playful. Like, this year has definitely been the year, like, she's kind of, like, starting to show her age. I was like, I for some reason, I was thinking that guy's still going to be standing out here just, like, waiting for the opportunity to run in and steal all my stuff. But uh, she's got the age where she really is starting to show her, well, age. And she doesn't play very much. And the th well, uh, but one of her favorite toys used to be <laughs> a receipt. Like, if you just took a receipt and crumpled it up and threw it on the floor, she loved playing with it because it's so light. She would always really only like to play with toys that were really, really light. That she could knock around very easily. And a receipt is perfect because it's paper, it's crinkly, and it's very easy to knock around. Oh, right, later, bad. I don't know how much longer I'll be streaming anyway, so. But thanks for coming by for sure. And thanks for the bits, too. Thank you very much. Yeah, I'm thinking I might stream like another. Um, 